Okay, so now we're going to look at an explosion. It's just a chintzy little explosion to get you started in the art of making explosions. But yeah, it's very uncomplex and very simple to do. So what we're going to do is right click in the gray matter and go to new solid. Okay, this solid can be any color in the world. It doesn't really matter. I need to make an ellipse on here just like that. And this ellipse could take up, you know, the entire little area, but it needs to be a little dot that kind of floats here, just like that. So you don't want to take up too much room. Next, I need to fast blur it. So I'm going to go over here and type in blur and double click this to initiate a fast blur. Works just like that. And I get this nice fade off thing. Okay. All right. Next. We need to initialize time. So in here, I have, oh, about nine seconds. And I, th I would say even nine seconds is too much. Maybe right about here. So by moving this, I can cause less seconds to happen. All right. And how I can see how many seconds it takes is over here. The 14 right here is the second mark. Okay, I can zoom out and I can shrink this down and now I can see that in 11 seconds and now 10 seconds I have this. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to make this circle kind of smaller than bigger. Okay, how we do that is go in here. So first off, let me uh, get back here to timeline so it actually lets me click around in here there we go sometimes if you're zoomed too far in it won't let you go all right there we go all right to go in and make this smaller we're going to go to transform so we're going to start out with a scale of zero ish something something really small and i'll hit scale and then in about nine seconds or so, maybe 10, we'll make it 100%. All right, now let's zoom out. What I want to do is kind of make it smaller again. So it goes like this, bam, and then goes back to small. Doesn't have to go all the way back though. Let's say 5%. So there we go. Let's RAM preview that by hitting spacebar. And you can see it goes like this. All right, along with this, I'm going to make opacity. So at 100% opacity here in the center, I'm going to choose the stopwatch. And then I'm going to go here to 0% opacity or somewhere near that. As I said, you know, you don't have to be too accurate with this just yet. All right, cool. I got this blinking thing now. All right, now that we've done this, let's go in and look at the second part. All right, the second part is pretty easy, but what I want you to know is time is arbitrary. So if you go in here, you can always go back and scale time whatever you want by just going like this, and you can scale time up or down just by dragging these new dots out here. So uh, if you find that your explosion happens too fast, you can just expand these out. Okay, so now that I went over that, I renamed this stencil. Okay, now we're gonna make a new solid. And this one's going to be called flame. Actually, I think I'll call it particle because it more represents kind of a particle effect. So in here, what I'm going to do is go to effect and I'm going to add some noise. We're going to use fractal noise. Now there's a whole bunch of different fractal noises. So in a second here, you're going to get your cap blown off your, <laughs> it's just your noodle expanded just a little bit here is when I hit this magical button, but hold on. Uh, the next thing I need to do is add some color. 
So I'm going to go to color correction and go to colorama. This also has a lot of possibilities. So in here, under output cycle, just know that there is a million presets. Sunset. Hey, look, fire. Now, here's what else happens. We're going to take this and we're just going to go to the very top here of the mode and change this to classic color dodge. All right. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And check this out. Bam. Okay, so pretty cheesy. We have some evolution to take care of, but watch this. When we go to fractal noise, there is a whole bunch of different types of noises. So if you want to get into the sci-fi stuff, you might want to try, you know, something like subtrain or, you know, strings. You can make some pretty cool particle effects here. Good stuff. All right, let's go back to what I liked. Rocky was pretty good, neat. Good. Now, another thing we can do is go to evolution. So we're going to take evolution and move it around a little bit. But first, we're going to hit the stopwatch, make it evolve to about 300 degrees, and then go to the next frame, like away at the end, and rotate it back. Okay, so how did I know if it actually wrote, actually animated out? Go to Effects, drop this down to Effects, go to Fractal Noise, and you can see now Evolution right here has two dots. So you can also change it here if you wanted to. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, now we got this going on. I would say right here, it would start to disappear. So how would we make it disappear? Well, under stencil, we'll look at opacity. In this case, I have 100% opacity. But I want it to dip down quite a bit here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And at the very end, I want it to have zero opacity. Better. Now remember, this is kind of a cheesy effect at first. It gets you started with particle explosions and little explosions, but you can definitely change a bunch of stuff. Here's some other things that you could change. Under the effects itself, I have the ability to transform. There's rotation, there's scale, there's turbulence. You can see all these change everything about it. The complexity can be changed, okay, and that can be animated. You can adjust the contrast and brightness and then have it fade out. So there's a lot of different things you can do here and I want to leave it open to interpretation for the student to play around so that's why I'm not going to go any further I've already shown you how to basically add keyframes to certain events and now that way the student doesn't copy every word for word letter you can make variations within the classroom alright so now one last thing though let's go to project and look at what we have We have a composition called Explosion. Well, it is made of two layers. I named mine Explosion 1. And I want to keep this. So I can make tons of explosions. Different. I can make a whole scene of different explosions if I wanted to. And that way, if I make like a new composition, and I wanted to test out my explosions, well, I could just take explosion one and put it down here. I could put explosion two, explosion three, four, five, and then I can test it out. Perfect. 
and it takes a while to RAM preview. But if you keep them down to about you know nine or ten seconds to preview them out, it's a lot better. So as you change things that make it move, you'll make it look a little bit better that way too. But that is basic explosions, so enjoy. <laughs> 